Hello everyone, welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiersma and today we're going to have a look at my twinkle orchids. So not this beauty, but she's uh, right next to the twinkles. I keep them here in this uh, window sale in my orchid room. And yeah, some of them can uh, use some attention for sure. So we have some old bulbs that need to come off. And here's some older uh, leaves that we probably can take off. And yeah, we need to take off some ferns. Here are some uh, brown bulbs that could be uh, taken off as well. So these three will go to the up-putting table. Let me look at this one. This is the yellow one. Well, that one looks fine. Yeah, we have still some room here. There's some new growth. I could take out some ferns, but that's it. So that one is uh, going to stay there. So those three, we're going to uh, have a closer look at. So here they are, you guys, the three of them. I might uh, cut some pieces out of this video. I don't want to overdo it, but we shall see, or I may speed it up, but I will uh, see uh, while I'm editing this video. First of all, there, oh, that looks like an aphid. We have on this one three new growths, but uh, like we saw some older bulbs, so those can come off. So let's uh, get this one first out of the pots. And the tag. We need to update as well in a second, of course. Ooh, beautiful. Quite some roots, you guys. Look at that. Look at it. And I think most of them will be uh, be alive. Well, actually, maybe, maybe. Let me uh, get you guys a little bit closer in. Maybe we need to do this a bit different. Uh, there we go. First of all, my scissors. I'm going to cut off the old, old flower spikes. Like this. We have some old blooms on there. <laughs> so, yeah. And a very old one here, because I'm going to try to take off the bulbs like this. Some old leaves. Let's get those off. Here we are. Probably should use some alcohol first. So I'm going to cut off some leaves. Those are a little bit damaged. Which happens quite quickly with the... Uh, Twinkles I found, but anyhow, I'm just gonna. Don't want to take off too much, of course, but the brown spots, yeah, don't like the look of it. Anyhow, we are now uh, back at the bulbs. Let me see. Yeah, you see, I, this one I can uh, just take off. If there is a lot of fluid in there, I don't want to take them. I'll break them, of course, but they seem to be fine. Just older bulbs that did uh, start to rot off because they are very so old so yeah i'm just taking them off here we are like this because then maybe i don't have to take it out of its pot and those type of decisions i always make here on the table but when i have a close look at the plant and i don't want to disturb it too much so just take them off before I forget, I will uh, spray the scissors quickly. Here we go, so I don't forget. And let's have a look. Close look, because I think uh, I need to zoom out a little bit. So you can have the. This looks already way better. And you can see there's a, enough room for those new growths. To grow even though this one is a little bit close to the edge but still for a twinkle as you can see enough room and here is the back of the plant and i know it's already uh, not much open wounds there i think so i'm just gonna leave it it's above the pot so it will dry up and then we don't have to disturb this beautiful root system so this needs to go back in like that. I will put a tag back in. I don't uh, change the date because we didn't repot it. So let's turn this, uh, put this one, I should say, to the side. 
So I did uh, clean quickly the tray, as you probably can see. Let's have a look at the, at the next one. Ah, oh, sadly, I think this was a new growth. So uh, it looks like a new growth that is uh, dying off. This one has roots as well. They are a little bit darker color-wise, so I'm not completely sure if this is... Uh, yeah, it's really pushed to the side of the pot here, so... And here, so yeah, this one uh, needs to come out. Let's do that. And there I am again. I needed to clean the tray first. <laughs> I did forget. So uh, this one uh, needs to come out of the pot. Let me grab the tag. Old flower spike can go off. A very sad leaf here. Oops. Don't cut the new growth. And that one can come off, that one. So here we go, let me uh, quickly put a little bit of alcohol on there. It's the same plan, but still. <laughs> okay, here we go, you guys. This one needs to, uh, like we said, uh, needs to come out, sadly. Because I don't like to repot them if I don't have to, but I think this one could, uh, do with a uh, better clean up. So there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the new growth. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, it's completely rotted off. Sadly, sadly. But it happens. I was a little bit too late, I think, with a repot. I need to clean the pot because we have some older roots in the pot still. <laughs> and I'm checking the roots here. So yeah, we have some older roots, some newer roots bit of everything and then I always need to decide do I cut those roots off or not let me check so here we go yeah I'm going to cut a few off that look not alive anymore not that easy because it's, there are quite a few roots and not all of them are dead yeah I have a lot of Cintiq in here if I uh, need to do a repot this one or I, I bought a new one let's put it like that I wouldn't use as much Cintiq maybe a teeny tiny bit but anyhow it's still there so if I going to take it off now I will break so many roots so I'm not going to do it but I'm going to try to also with these bulbs, they are just falling off, so they are very old. <laughs> Taking them off as much as I can, and they come off fairly easy. This one has some fluid in it. Like I said, be careful if you do that. I'm going to find the rhizome with my scissors, make a clean cut, and, and then take it off like this. We had some older roots, but it's still... Uh, intact so uh, it didn't break luckily it's a very dry one <laughs> we have some moss there in between the bulbs but that's not really in the way I, guess, I think yeah some roots are yeah, we have some new roots there, so yeah, ah. I'm going to leave it like it is, because otherwise, like I said, I'm going to break so many roots. Don't want to do that. So, I'm going to clean up a little bit. Did, well, actually, did we cut every... I can take off the sheet. Uh, okay, well, actually, I can try. There we go. <laughs> well, we're here. Quickly, a 
good freshening up everything every everything old and broken can go away and make room for new healthy growths of course and we have healthy new growths we have one here and one here and there another one so we have at least three sadly enough we had four i will put some cinnamon on here because that's fairly fresh and open and it will clean up so let's uh, do first the clean up and i will uh, be right back you guys okay you guys i cleaned uh, everything up again and before i forget this is the name of this twinkle sorry for the glare just for our notes or when we do updates of course that's nice uh so yeah i'm going to uh use only the small uh, pumice no more synthetic for sure <laughs> well it's it's fine but it was, it's a little bit too much so i think they could use a little bit more um air in the pot where is my oh here it is here it is and i'm just going to reuse the pot and just give it a flush and that's uh, that's enough i think so let's put a water meter back I started with a little bit of a little layer. Well, actually, I need a layer of the big pumice first. Because we have the holes in the pots, of course. So otherwise the small lecker will, uh, I'm sorry, small pumice, will fall out too much. So, and this uh, larger pumice will uh, prevent that from happening. So let's grab the orchid and try to put it in the pot. As nicely as we can so it doesn't have to come out for another two years or something <laughs> that would be great i actually can use a little bit more media in there. this is the dusty version so let me see how are we doing i think we are doing fine yes i should have a smaller where is it? Oops, it's all the way down here. <laughs> this one's a little bit easier. <laughs> a little bit smaller. I keep calling these scoops, but I'm not sure what is the, the right name for it actually. <laughs> Inze remind me of these guys. These are coming from a candy store. And I think you're right. I didn't uh, recognize them, but now I do. For, to uh, scoop up the candy and put it in a bag and eat it luckily i'm not that big of a fan of uh, one second you guys of a uh, candy but uh yeah i'm not really into candy cookies and cakes yes that's what i like <laughs> But it's not, uh, I don't need it to be too sweet. I don't like uh, too much sugar in general. Anyhow, that's not why you're here. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are here for the twinkles, which have a beautiful sweet fragrance. I do love the fragrance of these guys. Oh, so wonderful. Anyhow, Am I in frame? Yes, I think I am. Look at it. This looks better, you guys. More air. A little bit more air in the pot. So, yeah. I'm, I'm happy I'm, I'm filming this because I like to do these uh, updates. So, I hope you like it too. I think you do because my Twinkle videos do get normally a little bit more views than, uh, than others. So, I think a lot of people like uh, to see a, a good... A video about twinkles okay and i completely do understand they are beautiful they absolutely are some pebbles around the pot and i will have a i will look at the tag i, I don't remember the last time that i did repot it but i think it was several years oh yes oh yes uh it was 2019 <laughs> so that's uh three three and a half years ago something like that so yeah a little bit of cleanup doesn't hurt so here she is we have some old roots there maybe alive i'm not completely sure but i leave them there because there were too many alive to be uh, taken off but i think it does look okay and i hope it will now 
keep its leaves and make a few more leaves but probably will with the new growth so uh, let's put this one back in a pot and grab the next one the last one okay you guys i think this is going fairly quickly we are now looking at the last one with this uh, fairly uh, huge spike that it didn't make this season but it needs to come off it's done blooming obviously so let's uh, get those out of the way old leaf there and i don't want this fern in here so let's take it off you go you and you old leaf there's an old leaf here we go let's have a look inside of the pot and we have some roots coming out of the pot let me uh, do it like this this is uh, fern roots <laughs> but these are twinkle roots yeah and this one uh, does look fairly healthy i think beautiful roots let's uh, have a look at the other side of the pot yeah beautiful roots i used a mixture of pumice small pumice small uh, lekka and a bigger lekka and cintiq of course <laughs> nowadays i would only use the small bummers maybe a little bit of cintiq but i don't think you really need it to be honest so but let's have a look do we need to take it out of the pot i don't think we do because uh, there's an old leaf let me uh, grab my puners quickly here we go i don't like too much rotting material in there <laughs> it's actually still on there An old leaf here we go and he's a little bit of fern left it can come off well, actually this is an old bulb as well let me if you can see this and you can take them off very easily that's fine that's fine we have a teeny tiny new growth there let me uh, try to point it out there do you see it <laughs> but i think there's enough room for it but yeah it's trying so that's fine some older uh, flowers still there let, uh, let those let us take those out there we go <laughs> So yeah, I'm not very good in doing two things at once. I admit it's the truth. <laughs> I always had it happen because I like to be very focused if I do stuff like this. But yeah, but I like to talk as well. So don't <laughs> it's, it's a bit silly, but I'm not very good in doing two things. So that's why I'm sometimes a little bit quiet, but I'm just checking if I missed things or any, uh, anything of that sort. We have a beautiful new growth here. so enough room in a pot and we have another one here also quite some room in a pot so i uh not taking this one out and we just saw this small one here very teeny tiny one i think it should be uh it should be fine there so and i still see some old i thought i had them all but some old uh flowers so and this is the um i will grab the tag that is whoops that is this one border red dark yeah red dark orange okay that, well that's it you guys so i'm going to take the camera and we will have a last look at them in the in the window shell again <laughs> well what i also did is i did take these ferns out of the yellow one i didn't film it it was just uh, three seconds and it was done but anyhow let's uh, let's have a look like i said i have them here in a window shell because I think they do like a little bit of uh, sun, filtered uh, sun, of course. And I think the leaves are going to be a little bit better if they do get enough light. So that's what I uh, am trying to do here. <laughs> but yeah, this, is, this, this one is the one we did repot it completely. We can uh, see that because I used uh, different pebbles these days i did use those back in the days but i like this these a little bit better and the rest uh, did get a freshen up and i think they do uh, look better 
beautiful a little bit of sunshine on there and here's the yellow one this one has still uh, has still enough room and we have some old moss there sometimes i take it off but i think it's not too bad yet some alive moss and some older bulbs if they are dry up you just saw me do it i just take them off and that's it and this one has a better uh, better leaves so I think with a little bit more daylight, uh, these guys should be uh, doing a little better, bit better leaf-wise as well. Anyhow, this was a little bit of an update and, uh, and repotting and a look at my twinkles. I hope you enjoy it. And if, as usual, of course, if you have any questions, please leave them uh, in the comment section below. And I will get to them as soon as I can. So for now, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.